The Minnesota Fighting Viking center position has been in flux all season long. Well, not through the first you know 10-ish games where Bradbury was holding it down, playing like a top-10 center. He was fantastic. But then he went down with a back injury. Austin Schlutman came in, uh, familiar with Chris Cooper and Justin Riscotti and Chris Motkins from back in the day. And then he played fine, and then he broke his ankle against the Packers. And then Chris Reed came in, and Chris Reed... Even though he does have some preseason experience at center, he's a guard. And it showed like a bunch of issues with the cadence, a bunch of issues with snapping of Kirk Cousins, and it just was not good. Enter Greg Manch. So, veteran, been around the block. Uh, he, he's certainly uh, done a thing or two at the center position. He's 30, 6'4", 302, 2015 UDFA out of Toledo. 63 career games, 32 career starts, 16 of them at center, uh, mostly with the Texans from back in the day. And, uh, Greg, it, it made sense why the Vikings added him uh, when they put Schlutman on injured reserve earlier in the week because now you have a veteran, a guy that's been there, done that, got the T-shirt, and he's actually a center as opposed to a guard playing center. But, aha, is he already center one for the Vikings? Kevin Seifert, who is not Carl Gerbstrand. He's not. Go. Uh, during the part of the warm-ups, I saw Kirk Cousins was taking snaps with new center G. Reg Mance, uh, Manch. Uh, backup Nick Mullins is working with center Chris Reed. I don't know what that could mean, if anything, but we'll have access to Coach Kevin O'Connell later this afternoon. Now, I can already tell you exactly what Kevin O'Connell is going to say. Well, you know, we're just working on a bunch of things, and uh, we're just trying to get uh, Manch up to speed, and uh, we still believe in Chris Reed, da-da-da. Uh, he's completely going to hedge it, but this makes sense. L like I said, Chris Reed is a guard, and it, it didn't work out at center. Manch, even though he's coming in cold, he doesn't really know his teammates. He doesn't know the offense. He doesn't know uh, this, this or, uh, or the other thing. But what he can do is he can snap the ball because he's a center. Right, and the Vikings had a walkthrough on Wednesday. Uh, today uh, is, uh, as well as practice on Thursday. Uh, today is, you know, the last day of real practice before the uh, Bears game on Sunday. So maybe they took a look at the walkthrough on Wednesday and the practice on Thursday. It's like, ah, eh, we still like Chris Reed, uh, but this ain't working out. So now Manch is getting an opportunity just in case he has to go in on Sunday uh, and start. And it would make sense, like. Even though I disagree with them starting uh, a bunch of the starters, especially a guy like Kirk Cousins behind this janky offensive line, if Greg Mench, uh, if you have a lot more confidence in him than you do in Chris Reed playing at center right now, play him the entire Bears game uh, and get him as up to speed as possible as you can. Let him get all the practice reps with the first team going forward uh, until if and when Garrett Bradbury comes back. And now, knocking on all the wood, Hopefully, Bradbury is going to be back for the wild card weekend. Now, that's the timetable. Bradbury sounded optimistic. So does Kevin O'Connell. But, I mean, players and coaches always sound optimistic about injuries, right? Uh, but getting Bradbury back and getting Brandle back uh, at right tackle, I mean, that would be a huge boost for the Vikings offensive line. Uh, but if worse comes to worse, like if Chris Reed literally cannot snap the ball, Manch is going to be the better option, even though Manch is just coming in cold off the street. So uh, it, it is something worth watching. Also, uh, keep an eye out for Kevin O'Connell's uh, comments at the post game. Uh, well, not post game, post press, post practice presser. Uh, I'm sure he'll say nothing, but I wouldn't re really be shocked if Greg Manch is your starting center week 18 at Chicago. Just trying to get him up to speed and just trying to hedge just in case if Garrett Bradbury can't go in wild card weekend. But your thoughts are thoughts. Is new free agent center? Greg Manch, already the Vikings starting center. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.